We've now had our hands on Animal Crossing New Horizons for a full 10 days, double digit days to explore this magical game and to learn all the ins and outs and to share tips and tricks and to catch the biggest fish and look for star fragments and try to see how big we can build our house, to upgrade our islands, to progress through the story and to amass the most awesome outfits. But today I want to take you guys down a different route and do something a little quirkier and a little more chill. We're going to be ranking all 20 NPCs in Animal Crossing New Horizons and figuring out all of our favorites. So make sure to let me know in the comments down below your favorite Animal Crossing New Horizons NPC and why. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and are enjoying AC. I thought this would be the perfect time given that the game is about to enter Bunny Day and about to add Zipper T Bunny. And then I'm sure they'll add more NPCs as the game progresses, as the year progresses. But right now we got 20. So what's going on, everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. Hope you're having a fantastic day and getting the most out of this incredible game. Now, there were a lot of different criteria that went into my evaluation of the AC NPCs. We're talking, of course, personal preference. This is my list. We're talking appearance. We're talking the effect they have on the game and what they bring to the table. So if they're a cool NPC that brings something cool to your island, that definitely gave them so many more points. Because some of these NPCs kind of just are there. Some of them have their whole own gimmick, or even their whole own store, or even their whole own tournament, which is really freaking awesome. And that definitely factored in. So it makes perfect sense that number 20 is Tom Nook. He is the debt collector. He is a guy who just wants to build your bill stack higher and higher. Now, you could argue that Tom Nook is responsible for this entire game, because without his deserted island getaway package, we wouldn't even be here. But Tom Nook, you know, he's just that guy. He's a looming presence. And honestly, after a while, you kind of forget about him. Once you're done with most of your loans, Isabel takes over the morning announcements, and Tom just kind of fades into the background. And I honestly kind of prefer it that way. Number 19 is Harvey. Now, Harvey is a groovy dog, but I don't like to groove with him all that often. He kind of gives me weird, creepy vibes. He hosts the uh, the portrait studio, the picture place, where you can travel to his island and scan an amiibo and set up portraits. It's a little weird to make the, the scenes for the picture. I don't know. There's just something a little bit off about him and something a little bit odd about the whole setup. I never like to go to that island. It's empty. There's like this eeriness to it. I don't have any of my Animal Crossing amiibo with me. Uh, I don't know, Harvey, I'm gonna keep him deep in this list. Number 18 is Wilbur, and I do like the Dodo kind, so stay tuned for another Dodo much further down the line. But Wilbur, you know, this man lies about burning the flight plans. Have you ever been to the same Mystery Island twice, three times, four times? You spend those 2,000 Nook Miles, you get there, and there's not even a, a new villager or nothing special, no fun fruit, no crazy bugs. Wilbur claims that he's taking you somewhere brand new, one of a kind, but I think he's running a little bit of a scam. Also, his deep voice sometimes creeps me out, and uh, I do like his pilot sunglasses, but I'm going to put Wilbur at 18. Now, from here on out, like, all these guys are pretty darn good, so it's, it's a little hard to rank them, quote, low, because they're all fun. Number 17 is Mabel. I mean, she's okay, but the next 17 are all cool, so it's fine that she holds this spot. Mabel is just, I don't know, she's the main sister you talk to, but I feel like she has the least overall charm. I love her shop. I check it every day, and you should do the same, because they restock with new cool stuff. I'm always finding, like, vampire outfits, pilot costumes, power suits, hockey masks. It's wonderful. But Mabel, to me, she's the least of the three sisters. Number 16 is Sahara with her cool rugs, and she's a freaking camel. She gets bonus points just for being such a sweet animal. I like her mystery ticket system. She gives you a random wallpaper, a random wa rug. You pick the size, you get some tickets, you go back for more. It's like once you're in, you can't ever quit. I just got my first animated wallpaper today. It was glorious, so I do love me some Sahara. I like when she shows up. She just isn't as cool as Timmy Nook, number 15, who is the less cool brother. He is related to Tom Nook. He's his nephew, so I don't know. Maybe he should have been further back in this list. But Timmy is the main man in charge. He kind of runs the show. He's a cute little raccoon. I think he just loses some luster because of his uncle. Number 15 is Label. Now, she's a little full of herself, but I love her special designer gear, and I think it's a pretty fun encounter when she shows up and says, hey, give me a cute outfit. 
show me a comfy outfit. What's a work outfit look like for you? Now, I don't know how intense the system is, but I always try to run back home, check out my wardrobe, and find something that's really gonna work for Label. And then she mails you some goodies, and it's a pretty cool system. Like I said, she's a little arrogant, and it's so sad when Sable says, why doesn't Label come work with us, and Mabel has to console her. So, kinda got a little bit of a dark mark on Label for leaving her sisters, but hey, she's a brave girl, going out and trying to live her best life. Number 13 is another creature living their best life, Daisy May, the turnip girl. She's trying to sell these, and it's awesome because she really helps you out in the money-making department. She shows up on Sundays, sells you those turnips, you got a week to test the stock price of those turnips and make the sale when it matters most. Do not let them rot. Do not time travel and let them rot. Do not forget about them and let them rot. The first time I bought turnips, I spent thousands and thousands of bells and I forgot about them, boom, they gone. It was not a nice morning. But if you are able to take advantage of the turnip system, you can make some pretty good money. And it's fun just to see her when she shows up, cute little face, and I like the whole mechanic of waiting to see and pulling the trigger when the price is the best. Number 12 is Sable. She's the quietest of the three sisters, but definitely the coolest. She plays hard to get, but the more you talk to her, the more she opens up. And then she's talking about coffee and tea, and it makes me wonder if this is some sort of tease for the eventual arrival of Brewster's Roost. Because why tease coffee and tea if it's not eventually gonna happen? She says she's so sad she can't give you a cup, but she is there doing big work. She will give you gifts. And who knows what other mystery she holds if you continue to talk to her reliably day after day. Number 11 is Isabel. She's a classic. I love her a lot, but she just does the morning announcements and she repeats her jokes about television crossword puzzles and the likes day after day after day. Also, she's never announced a meteor shower for me, so I've got that held against her. I don't know. I've never been the biggest Isabel fan. Call me crazy. But there are 10 other NPCs that I do appreciate more. Number 10 is Tommy Nook. That little pennant banner he carries around is oh so cool. He's the one who's always repeating after his brother, trying to shout out what the shop's got going on that day. And Tommy gets bonus points because people have been trying to trap Tommy as he wanders around the island in the early parts of AC. They've been building jail cells, holding them hostage, holding them ransom. That's not cool. That's not okay. So we got to give Tommy some love as the innocent brother, the innocent nephew, I don't even think he knows that Uncle Nook is over there charging so many bells for that upstairs on your house. He's just a cute, sweet little raccoon that everybody is trying to hold hostage. Number nine is Blathers, and you know, Blathers is Blathers, but he has such an important space in AC New Horizons. He helps you open up the museum, and I love his dumb info that he really wants to give you, and his fear of bugs, and his sleepy habits. It's kind of unfortunate that he doesn't have as big of a role after the opening hours, because frankly, I don't go to the museum all that often, and he's stuck in there. I wish sometimes he'd come out and get to see the light of day. He's just sleeping in there waiting for me to deliver new fossils, wanting to tell me about the latest pill bug or dab. And usually I'm just like click through, click through, click through, click through, but he's got good info and he's just a really respectable dude. And his sister, mm, she is so helpful. Number eight is KK Slider. I'm not a huge fan of KK personally, but he's the grill at the end of your quest. You gotta get KK to your island to perform a concert. That is the main goal of this main quest. Animal Crossing doesn't really have a through line, but if there is one, KK is the final boss. You gotta attract him to your island. With that three-star ranking, he'll come and sing his wonderful tunes, and for that, he earns a top 10 spot, because he's just that important. Number seven is CJ. He is the fish man in charge of both awesome fish deals and the fishing tournaments. If you haven't seen a fishing tournament yet, they're pretty cool. You got three minutes to hunt as many little guppies as you possibly can, bring them back, trade them in for special fish gear, sell them to him for better prices. And I love his personality. He's a little otter who's trying to make it big on the internet. He's got a blog, he's got viewers. He's very concerned about appeasing them and keeping fresh fish on his website. So I just like the entire character, the entire idea. Uh, you can also build with three of the same fish, a fish sculpture for you to really keep the memory of when you caught your first giant one and i think that's pretty nifty number six is wisp the ghost i like him he's a cool dude i'm a big fan of ghosts if you know about my original channel you'll, you'll probably know why i like the little quest he gives and that you get to pick something expensive or something new i think that's pretty fun you go hunt the little fragments bring him back he's scared of you even though he's the ghost 
clever concept, wonderful appearance, and he is a nighttime event. I really respect nighttime events. They have quickly become my favorite events, whether it's shooting stars and the next character, or Wisp himself. So that means that number five is Celeste. To me, she's another Grell character, like KK. You want to get her to come. That means a meteor shower, that means wishing upon shooting stars, and that means star fragments the next morning. Plus, she's got the sweetest recipe book in the game, hooking you up with all sorts of out-of-this-world furniture and wands. Those wands are wonderful. I just did a whole video on them, and they're really cool. You can transform your outfits. The star fragments just feels like you won the lottery when they roll up on shore, whether it's the Ares fragments, the large fragments, the regular fragments. It's kind of like the best thing you can find in the game right now, and they're great to give as gifts if you're participating in trades. Celeste is just neat, and she gets to wander outside, unlike her brother. Number four is Kix. He's a shoe dude. As a fellow sneakerhead, I love this guy. He brings you backpacks and shoes. I think they're very neat. He just sets up shop. Kind of feel bad that he doesn't get to have his own permanent storefront, but hey, he seems to like what he does. He's successful. I always buy from him. He's bought me some really cool backpacks, some really cool shoes. Got these uh, spacey boots, some basketball sneakers, really cool backpacks. I like him a lot. He's a nifty dude, and him and I, we got a lot of interest. I've got my PlayStation Paul George Nike backpack that I take with me everywhere. Wish it was in the game, but uh, at least I've got kicks to supply my hype beast needs. Number three is Orville. Yes, I promise you the Dodos would appear later on, and this Dodo is fantastic. He's a fun guy. He runs the airport. He's a brand new character. Without him, we couldn't visit nobody. Now, I know the system for traveling isn't the greatest. In fact, it can be quite annoying if you're visiting an island with multiple people all there at once. All the stoppages, the freezes, interference, can't get there, can get there. The Dodo Code's re-going through his entire dialogue tree just to try again, but that's not his fault. Blame somebody else. Orville is wonderful, and I'm so glad he's in this game. Number two is Flick, the bug expert. He just looks so dope, and his name is Flick. <sighs> Gotta love Flick. Bugs Life is one of the most underrated Disney Pixar movies ever. Does not ever get enough accolades or enough appreciation. That movie is wonderful, and Flick is pretty wonderful. Although Flick looks a little depressed, and maybe it's because Bugs Life doesn't get a lot of recognition. I like to talk to him. He helped me build a tarantula, and I'm talking a tarantula sculpture, not, we didn't Frankenstein, an actual tarantula, don't worry, but... You can trade with him better prices on bugs, give him three for the sculpture, and eventually bug catching tournaments. So CJ and Flick, they're kind of competing in the world of the Critterpedia, and I like both of them. That leaves one character left. Can you guess who it is? Have you gone through the entire list? There's 20, and there's only one remaining. My number one favorite NPC in Animal Crossing New Horizons is Gulliver. I love me some Gulliver. His jokes, his sleepy phrases, his expressions, the fact that he's been just marooned on this island. I don't know if he washed ashore or if they threw him overboard because he was annoying. It's just such a clever concept. I love hunting down his little communicator parts. And then he mails you something cool from around the world. He's a traveling guy. Gulliver's travels, get it? It's great. I think he's fantastic. I love him so much from his appearance to his effect on the game. And he's got like those really just clever one-liners. And he like, last time I met him, he thought he was in outer space. It was, it was just fantastic. And he is just a wonderful, wonderful dude. And I love that he keeps coming back, keeps getting washed ashore. What is going on in his boat? I, I'll never understand, but I'm so glad that he decides to rumble and tumble his way to my beach. There you have it. That's my list of all 20 Animal Crossing New Horizons. NPCs and more will get added as the year progresses so maybe we'll have to redo this list once we've gone through all the different events for Bunny Day and Earth Day and Christmas and all of that. It'll be pretty cool to see what they add and I hope they'll add some of the old NPCs from past games. Like I mentioned Brewster, bring him back baby. I'd love to see him here in New Horizons. But let me know in the comments down below who your favorite NPCs are and why. I'd love to hear your reasoning and which ones you like best. Make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and are having fun with Animal Crossing. I'll see you guys on another video. Thanks so much for all your support. It means the world to me and this game it's just been a wonderful 10 days. So here's the next 10, the next 100, rather. Make sure you guys are staying safe out there. Wash your hands, stay home. Be good to yourself and others. Feel free to join the Discord, Switch Strong, link in the description. And until next time, thanks again, everybody. Switch Force, out.